Hello, this is Gary. I want to show you how to make a 27 channel DMX board waterproof for less than $10. What you need to do Buy is this plain old box, which is model number 3640. You can find it at Home Depot or at Academy Sporting Goods in the fishing department. What's nice about this box, it's got a rubber seal on the lid and then it's got three handles to that clamp the seal down to the bottom portion of the box. The only problem with the box is it has these dividers in it. What you have to do is grind the dividers out of the box with a, something that will grind the plastic away. Now once you get the plastic ground down uh, on the dividers, you only want to grind it down to about an eighth of an inch. Um, to the bottom. If you go all the way to the bottom, you're going to uh, probably uh, make a hole in the bottom. But it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. It, uh, it works really great once you get it all ground out. Then you put the board upside down into the top part of the box. Once you close it, it should close and hold the board in place because the dividers on the lid are still in intact and what it does is it actually uh, makes a really good fit where you don't have to use any kind of glue or fasteners to fax, fasten the board in. The next thing I do is put holes in the bottom and the side of the box next to the handles. These holes are for all the wiring going to the uh, 27 channel board. So in my situation, I'm going to be hanging this outside on some kind of a stake um, where the wires are all coming out of the bottom of, of the box. So that will pretty much protect it from getting wet. Uh, next thing you want to do is uh, put the DMX signal wire through the box, one of the holes, and then attach or solder that uh, signal wire to your board. I tin the wires um, before I do any soldering, so I put solder on the wires. Then um, on the board itself, when you're looking at the board, you'll see an A on the right side, and then next to the A is a triangle with uh, three soldering pads. So the, the center pad is the negative, and the right pad is the positive. If we use holiday course technique, which they have on many videos on their website. They use the orange wire for the, the ground and the orange striped wire for the positive. So the ground's the middle and the right side is the, the positive. So what you do is you you put a L L-shaped bend in the, to the wire and individually line the wire up to its um, pad. And then all you have to do is heat the, the wire with a soldering gun. Don't add any solder when trying to um, attach the wire, so it makes it a lot easier to do it for me with that technique. So this is what it looks like when you get both wires soldered. And then on the signal wire itself, what I do is I use a plastic tie strip to um, to keep the wire from being pulled out of the, the hole of the box. When I drill these holes, I used a half inch bit uh, for the hole size. And on the opposite side of the the board, I have the power supply. In my situation, um, I've got an RGB arch that I'm, uh, I'm using this board for. I'm using seven channels. This power supply comes also from Holiday Core. And I have only have uh, six uh, RGB light nodes per channel, so it's not pulling much power. So there's plenty of power in the 12 volt uh, power supply plus the power supply is waterproof. I don't, you don't have, you can leave it out in the rain. And I do the same thing. I use a plastic tie to keep the wire from being pulled out of the box. And um, there's the wire, wire. Then, then I connect all of my RGB uh, light nodes by channel back to the main board. The board is um, very well marked. The other thing you have to do is uh, do on the, the orange or the red switch, set your first channel setting. 
and I'll provide a link to to show you how to determine which switches to pull to like set your chart starting channel like if you want to start at channel 300 then you've got to um, set the dip switches to to that value of 300 so that's what it looks like all uh, closed up the nice thing about it is your you can see your LED LED status light through the box and when it's a solid light it means you've got power when you load the, the LOR control panel then the light should blink indicating that you're getting a DMX signal so I did this little uh, demonstration with an iPhone app called Pixintel which will be available in its new version around November 10th so if 2012 so if you'd like to try this uh, app out um, please do so thanks